And we can hear you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Side Dish. Oh, you nerd. Um, we got a lot going on today, folks. So we made, we, we made bacon. And um, I got to tell you, it smells delicious at the moment. And so, um, yeah, we're gonna, we've got it back here. We're going to do some measurements. We've got about 20 minutes of some rest. So we'll make a cocktail, we'll cut some bacon, we'll eat some bacon, and uh, fry some bacon, and then go from there. So, um, yeah, let's do it. So <laughs> Error, YouTube is not responding, but I can see you on here. Yeah, 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 don't worry about that. Okay. If it, it we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody, hopefully you can see us. Uh, I can see me, and um, so we gotta get, a little bit moving here because this has got a little bit to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're making English muffins. Now this is a recipe that's based off of the model bakery in um, that place. Geyser? No, not Geyserville. Uh, I always get it wrong. Helena? St. Helena? Yes. I think it's St. Helena. Okay. Um, there's one in Napa proper. Um, but we are... Um, I, I've substituted out, I've, instead of a bega, which is a kind of pre-ferment, um, we're going to use a sour, sorry, which is also a kind of pre-ferment. Um, what does a pre-ferment um, mean? Yeah, what does it mean? So a pre-ferment means that you mix, so in a bega's case, flour, water, and yeast, and then it sits overnight and it sort of ferments a little bit. Sourdough is natural leaven with natural yeast, and you're gonna get that. I was wondering what it smelled like. What does it smell like? What, the, the sourdough? Yeah. It smells like sourdough. So. It smells vaguely of beer. A little bit. So we need to mix this and some water. So I've got a handy dandy spatula. Does it still say in that air? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I do see things now. Okay. So I'm giving, this is 150 grams of, of the starter, which is what we, so we need all of this. So it, and when you bake, you always weigh things. I do. I think, and that's why, so this recipe converted to weight from the one that is, that we were, had. So let me go. This is a fairly stiff, the sourdough in here is fairly stiff, stiff, which just means that it's, um, not as loose um, in terms of um, consistency. It's not poor, not as horrible. It's not like pancake batter. It's it was thicker than that. Yeah, yeah. It looked like oobleck. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what I've got, um, I'm just going to cut, and we're just again, we're just going to measure out. Um, no, what you like? There. Now it's 150. It said it didn't say 150 before. Well, it's right at 100. It's right at the edge. That's why I need a new scale because it's uh, at, at the edge of 150, the 149 grams. So I you just, need a finer scale. I need one that has uh, decimal points for the grams. Oh. Okay. So the the water in this, I'm getting fairly hot, but I'm I'm gonna. It should be warm on your fingers because by the time we get it in there, when we mix it, it's gonna get cooled down. Um, and we need uh, 250 milliliters of water. So zero it out. That's water is tricky. Can oh okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Did you want a pipette? <laughs> it's 250 grams. Okay. So that is... 250 the... grams is the same as 250 milliliters? Yeah. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. <laughs> but isn't it? I don't know. I think I would have measured the water with that. You're probably right. I've been waiting. It, so that's why... Uh-oh. Are we are you still going? Like, we don't have anybody on. I can still see you here. I don't know. It's weird. If you, I don't know. 
I can, I'm still seeing it. It's the holiday season. Maybe people are just busy today. It's possible. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. So, I don't know. Listen, this is what I did last time, and it's actually, it was the dullest consistency I wanted. So, we're just going to keep going with it. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Um, so, what else have I got here? I've got uh, olive oil. This is one tablespoon and one teaspoon. What a weird measurement. That is a weird measurement. So, I'm adding this in here, you know. That's, I didn't last, I forgot to when I first mixed it last time, and uh, it, it's fine. Uh, this is three quarters of a teaspoon of, of uh, yeast. Now you're gonna say, Doug, why do I need yeast if I'm using a sourdough starter? So what we need here basically is that this, this is, the, you don't need it. Let's just be, but <laughs> if you want this to rise, if you wanna do it today. Quicker then you're going to uh -oh. want to add some of that. Oh. Yeah, it's not on anymore. I'm going to interrupt his stream. Okay. I think. Oh, now it's excellent. That was a problem. Okay, hold on. We're back. I think. Let me. Oh, hey, look, it does show me on here, but it shows me behind, so. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, like really far behind? Yeah, but I think it's because you'd have to go. Okay. Ooh. Mine just went to suggested video again. again. Yeah, it's because, okay, I see what's happening. you got to go to the channel and bring it back up. Oh, so okay. see what happens. Uh, are, we, are we live? Sorry, something happened where, like, it didn't do its thing. But, I mean, I can see back in the chat now, and I'm up, and I can see me. I don't know how to get, I guess, back there. Okay, so if you, I think if you just go to... I went back, and then I went back to the thing, but... Did you go to your text? Yeah. I went here. And if you click on it... And I went here. I said that. And, and then, then it just text. went right back to the old one. Okay, so... This is it? Oh, yep, yeah, because you just walked away to me. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, Ping. there's okay. Ping. Okay. Okay, Ping. Whew. Sorry, I don't know what Something happened. Something went there. wrong. But we're fine. So, what, what what have we done so far? We're making English muffins. We've got bacon. Uh, we've got, what else are we doing? Oh, we're making, uh, we're going to make an eggnog. But we're going to add a little of this rum chata to it, which is peppermint bar flavor. So, we're going to have like a peppermint flavor. Just because we have it. Yeah. And then um, we're going to, so basically I've got in here currently, I have 150 grams. I'm going to go take care of that. Yeah, I have 150 grams of uh, sourdough starter. I have 100 or 240 or 250 grams of um, water. Now, the recipe said 250 milliliters, and Amy pointed that out to me, but we're, we're, it's going to be fine. Um, and then I have one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of olive oil, and then uh, one and a half teaspoons of uh, sea salt. Fine, as, as the recipe says. So, um, it's going, alarms are going off. Uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, so we're going to just do a quick mix. And just to kind of break up the um, sourdough. And we were talking about how in a regular English muffin, like the recipe I'm using is from, um, like I said, English muffin from Model Bakery and the St. Helena area of, of the Napa, Sonoma Valley area. And then um, they use a, be a biga, which is a pre-ferment. And what a pre-ferment is, is that you basically mix flour and water together. And in the case of a biga, commercial yeast, which is um, like instant yeast. And so what I did is I just used a, 
a, what is that? Oh, that's this part of it. Anyways, uh, is it? No, yeah, it is. Um, and then I use this. Hi, Danny. See you, see you next week. Uh, we, uh, we did this, and so now we've, and I also added three quarters of a tablespoon, uh, a teaspoon, sorry, of commercial yeast. And you're going to be like, well, Doug, why did you do that? And I'm going to say to you, because that it's, you want, it'll rise faster. Because with your sourdough, typically it's going to rise slower. So that's just how it is. Okay, so we're going to mix this. This has been mixed up to kind of get to that. I have rearranged over here so that you can see what's going on here. Now, they tell you to mix it, mix it with, like, if you're going to mix it with a kitchen aid, to mix it with the paddle. Don't do that. Just take a spatula and mix it with the... Uh, push it down. Push it down and mix it together. And then you're going to go from there. So, uh, I'm just going to slow... Well, actually, I'm just going to dump this in there. We don't need to do anything fast. This is only... Now, the recipe calls for 435 total grams of all-purpose flour. Now, this is 390 grams in here. And what we're looking for is we're going to make sure if this is a wet, wet dough, which it probably won't be because I use, I need to use grams instead of milliliters, and it probably is not the same thing. We'll test that theory in a little bit. Um, but the I'll add a little bit of water in here if I need to. Uh, your little helper there wants to know why she can't go in there. There you go. So I'm just getting this to where it forms a uh, cohesive ball. And if, if technology works the way it should. Oh, man. oh, yeah. We see your face. Now we see in the mixer. And so I'm going to, like I said, you can see here that it's just coming together. And again, I don't let necessarily, I think it needs a little bit to, um, it's not, it's not um, sticky enough. Sorry for that. Okay, that's all I'm really going to do. Woody, do you want to go on camera? Because your first father wants to see you. Hey, Woody. Woody! Say hi, Woody. That's a good boy, City. Oh, good boy. And there's another good boy. There's a blue boy. And there's a Gus. <laughs> and there's a Jack. But there's these, there's the two boys. Oh, and look, there's a Piper. Oh, there's Piper. Yep. I thought she would be on her bed. Oh, she was, but she heard, she heard people being talked about. <laughs> okay, so you can, you see how it is set up right there? That's exactly what we want to see. It's a little bit sticky, but we're going to um, click out of there. I'm going to click back into here so I can see what's going on and go forward. Um, yes. So this is going to be, I need to tell. Here it is. I found it. This is going to rest for 20 minutes. Okay. In that time, let's make, uh, first of all, let's look at some bacon real quick. This is Ooh. the fat cap on the back. Um, Who's which bacon is that? This is this is the um, kimchi kimchi side. This is just the brown sugar bacon. Okay, it is. It smells. I, I smoke this in two hundred degrees till it reached one hundred and fifty degrees internal temperature, and so um, and then last night. If you saw the short that I made, hopefully you did. Not many people did. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't understand how shorts work. We make, I put, I use a service to make one. It gets like almost 5,000 views. Um, and then I put one up just using my phone and it gets uh, 150 views. 
Use the service. I'm going to. But... <laughs> Um, so that bacon like that, that's how you purchase bacon, right? Can you email me a cut? Yes, I can. What do you do? Well, okay. Yes, I can. Uh, so we have, um, what are we going to do with this? Amy? Wait, answer my question. Oh, I'm sorry. So just like that, that's how you buy bacon? No, you buy, you buy bacon sliced. I know, honey, but I mean, like this is how you buy bacon. It's it's cured yes. as much as yes. Sorry. the bacon Sorry. you purchase. It is cured, and it has been smoked like it would be. So now okay. what we do is we're going to slice it and we're going to cook it. But I'm not going to cook it on here because I need this flat top for the um, English muffins, and I need it to be with ghee. So. Oh, okay. But we can do it in this one. And this will prevent it from. Sticking as much. Okay, so I'm also going to cut the bacon on here because I need to roll out stuff here later. So should we let's, let's cut the kimchi first. Nice butt. It's not a oh oh thanks this butt. <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> okay. So I'm just kind of doing that first, but see, look, look at this. What are you doing? Slicing? I just slice Wouldn't it. Wouldn't you usually put it on the meat slicer? Yes, to get it a consistent slice, but because we're just tasting it and then we're gonna have, we'll cut some more for what we want for dinner, but. Um, that That's a pretty good slice you did there. Excellent job, yeah. Douglas. I'm not bad sometimes. I'm just gonna throw that in there, and you can okay. This so, is the kimchi one. Yeah, and so you can see like. Does it smell spicy? I mean, you can definitely smell the kimchi, and I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be spicy. I think it's just gonna have the flavor profile. Which is. I mean, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to. Spicy and vinegary. That's what I think of yeah. when I think of kimchi. So I'm gonna do another one. Look at that, folks. Look at that thickness consistency. So again, when we cooled this, if we were to put this in the refrigerator and let it cool all the way, mm -hmm. you see how it's like got a little sheen to it? That's the fat that's still in there that's a little warm, and that would come down. But this is this is what you buy. Yeah. So we're going to – I'm going to make – I mean, we're going to have to test it like a couple of times. So yeah, so you better cut like four slices. I'm impressed with your cutting. It's all, like you've been practicing. It's all about a sharp knife. Ah. How is everybody? Did you guys enjoy the two videos last weekend? Whoops. Well, it's pretty consistent except for that little end. Now it's a thick end. Oh, I <laughs> jinxed you. Okay. So I'm going to put this one back. Now this is um, almost 10 pounds of bacon. It's probably lost weight because of the smoking process and the curing process, but. Originally it was 10 pounds? Yes. This is 9.98 pounds. And where does one pick up a slab of bacon? Costco. <laughs> oh so, yeah, you should buy some of that and Doug will cure it at your house. You have a smoker, Danny? Yes, I think he does. That was not a good cut. Now I, I jinxed you. Well, I was whittling today and stabbed my finger with the exacto knife, so you're doing better than me. That one's better. It was just this was oddly so like. Get up. I'm just gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in there, but you. So it's not. It's not bacon. It's pork belly. Go to go to your local Costco. Pork belly. And they'll have it. They might have it. I don't know. Sometimes ours has it. Sometimes it doesn't. So, you know. Well, you could get it from the butcher. You could get it from the butcher. Now, I'm cutting four slices because I want to cook this and then put it in there and cook the other one, too. Okay. Whoops. Yep. This will be, be the thick one for this bunch. That's, that's pretty consistent. 
just not as thin <laughs> as the first one. So, well, you like your bacon I do like floppy, a and I like mine crisp. Okay. So maybe if you cut some thin and some thick, you can cook them for the same amount of time, and we'll both get what we want. Well, of course. But uh, one thing that is thing about this, this is like, I know I was kind of being silly with the title of last on Sunday's video that we did, but it really isn't like super super hard to make this. I mean, there's a little bit of active time and a lot of passive time. Well, I think with most things like this that have gone from people doing it themselves to people just purchasing it, there is wait time. That's right? true. Like it was a week of you turning that. No, nothing about it was difficult. No, it just, it's just yeah. the waiting time and people... You know, a lot of households don't have somebody who's staying at home who wants to do them. Exactly. So. Okay. Let's make it. This, this is. We're gonna make an eggnog. It's gonna be so quick. And we have been accused of being preppers, even though we're not preppers, just because we like to do things the slow way, I guess, by hand for yeah. ourselves, yeah. whatever, oh, however you want to say. I didn't get any glasses. What should we drink this in? Oh. Okay, so I'm doing a dry, I'm a dry shake here. So I need one ounce of this brandy. I'm gonna do one. I always do that. I'm gonna do one ounce of this rum shot because why not? Who cares? <laughs> We're not driving. And it, oh my god, it smells so good. This is gonna be really good, I think. Oh yeah. You drinking not my coffee? <laughs> Before you go to work? <laughs> no, but it's the weekend. No, uh, I need to put. The, oh, egg yolk. You notice I got four eggs out, by the way. Because you knew we were going to have doubles? Well, I knew that we were probably going to have another one. <laughs> one egg yolk. Um, and then, oh, I need milk and a simple syrup. You have the simple syrup out. I know, but I just need the milk. So we're doing... One and a quarter ounces of the milk. How's your bacon looking there? It's looking pretty good, I think. I'm pretty stoked about this, I gotta tell you. I turned it down, because it was kind of... It smells good. I'm gonna turn it down even more, because it seems to be up high, and it's... So it's gonna be nice and... It'll be burnt for you. Not burnt, but it'll be well done. Crispy. I like it crispy. Oh, like this piece will be really good for you. So I have this, I, I eat this. Could you maybe move the pieces to the center there a little bit more so we can see them? Thank you. Uh, I didn't, I brought, I bought homemade bacon to our, the golf camp thing I usually do. Uh, last year, and this year I didn't do it, and I got a ration of shit for it. So, <laughs> so I got to remember to make sure that I have uh, plenty of it in the freezer ready to go when we go. Okay. So this is going to be done here pretty soon. No, they would, why would they ever be cooked the same? This is, that's just how you do it. I think I need a half ounce of this. Yes, I do. Okay, so what we're doing here, again, it's called a dry shake because what we're, we're gonna want to, um, we're gonna mix that egg yolk in. And there's no ice in there. Right, that's, yes. That's why it's dry. Yes. Um, Don't leak. Did you really just spray yourself? Mm -hmm. Raw egg and milk, yum. It's fine. Okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and down. That much. Yeah. 
end of it, folks. Brother. Assassin, you. Oh, yeah, well. Fresh. But privately, so. Not Meg. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know how it is. I'm very excited. I would say cookie bacon. It's, it's way better than store bought. I think bacon, uh, like it's like pancakes. You kind of got to just get a couple underneath your belt. The first ones aren't great, but it's all good because I yeah. mean it's pancakes or it's yeah. bacon, so exactly. So if you're, uh, I want to just say, first of all, everybody who joined in the last two weeks because of the shorts or however you found us, if you're watching, uh, welcome. This, uh, we gained, I'm not, it's like 24 followers in the last two weeks because of the shorts. So that is, I'm super appreciative of that. It kind of has blown my mind a little bit, but at the same time, I was like, wow. So thank you if you're new to the live stream. Oh, that one's really thick. Yeah, that's gonna be mine. Oh, this, oh this, it's more like like bacon steak. This one is not. Okay. Thick. So this is the just the brown sugar. <clears throat> and so, uh, like I said yesterday, before I uh, put it on the the sheet pan, I. Um, I let it sit in the fridge overnight because I wanted to have that, uh, you know, it gets a pellicle, which is just kind of a raised surface and it allows smoke to attach itself to it better. You don't like the word pellicle, do you? It's not the word. It's that, that texture reminds me of that bodies exhibit we saw in Vegas. Yeah. Where they like preserve the bodies and the like. And it looks just like the muscle texture. I did so all that work to get a separate thing, and then I put, and then I moved it and put the bacon directly down on this. I'm silly. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's make another one of these because I apparently need it. So we, uh, as we alluded to, we will be gone next week and the week after. Um, we will be in. Springfield, Missouri, at my brother Danny's house, who is online right now, or was. Oh, yeah. And uh, welcoming uh, my new ne nephew, right? A new bambino. And uh, luckily, that baby is being induced on the 12th of December and not the 13th, oh. which is my birthday. So. <laughs> you never know, honey. Just because she's being induced That's doesn't mean. That's true. That is true. You know what? It's, it's probably going to be that. I'm posting the that short. That would be so cute, though, if you guys share a birthday. I don't share very well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's on YouTube. I just, you just, it's just another mechanism to put the shorts up. So, or, uh, you should clarify because right now it sounds like you just saying either your birthday was on YouTube or the, the shorts are on YouTube. Baby. <laughs> Shorts on YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we have an official name for this baby? Because last I heard it keeps changing. Oh boy, don't I know you don't share well. <laughs> right. Listen. I'm I'm very He still doesn't, Danny. When he orders things and I want some of it, he says to me. If, you, if want. you wanted some, you should have ordered some. It's true. It is a true statement. If you wanted some, you should have ordered some. So rude. <laughs> no live birth on YouTube. <laughs> Hard yeah. pass. Hard right. pass. Fine, whatever. I think we'd really draw some engagement. <laughs> Next on side dish? Yeah. It's a baby. <laughs> no. 
Okay. Just to save myself from getting splashed. Ah, in the face. there you go. Look at you learning from your mistakes. <laughs> Ooh, you smile like that. You have all the. We do have a name. Yeah. Is it Theodore? That's what you keep telling us it is. You're going to name that baby after Shooter Ted? Bacon's sentence. That's exact. Bacon's house. Got it? Good job. Bacon's house was the name of my uh, 60s Beach Boy style album that I put out. <laughs> Holy crap. Can I try the bacon? Yeah. I was just going to pour myself my cocktail. First. What just happened here? I didn't even touch this. Uh oh. What happened? What is it zoomed in on you, and I can't. Unzoom it. And I, I really wasn't even touching that. Honey, you're not over there. Oh, we can see the bacon frying. Okay, wait. Let me look here. Why is it secret? Oh, we haven't decided. No, not with that. Not TJ. Oh. Theo. Like Theo Huxtable. Teddy. No. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think? Well, that doesn't suck. <laughs> Not at all. Woo! Sorry, did I give it away? I didn't know you are keeping it quiet. This is the kimchi. Yeah. I'm nervous about this. Oh my God, so good. Yeah. That flavor is there. But I think you might be onto something. The flavor is there. Trademark it, quick. But it is not overwhelming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. You gotta take some of this to numb. You know what I need to do next time? Mmm. It's very salty. Yeah, but I like very salty. It's more salty. Did you add more salt to it? Well, I added to what you used for curing. Oh, so. uh, mm mm. Yeah. Next time, just add the pink salt. Yeah, it's too, it might be too salty. I think. But that's just me. It's very salty, but it's very good. Well, maybe it'll be less salty towards the middle. Maybe. So that gives me some interesting things about this one. Oh, all right. I agree, Danny. Oh, there, there we go. Apparently, I have to choose. Mm, that is good. Oh, sorry. What happened? I threw the microphone oh. <laughs> down at the thing. Um. Oh yeah. So we know Jackie. Out. out of the kitchen. I need a little, just a teeny tiny bit of this, because I think, like, yeah, I don't need, you don't need very much. We're going to let that go for eight minutes. And I think this bacon is getting pretty close to being done. Oh, yeah. So if you were to do the kimchi one again, you just would add the pink salt, not the other salt? I would I would add other, other salt, but in way less volume. Because how much do you add? 
a cup. Yeah. Yeah. So like a, a half cup, a yeah. quarter cup. I don't know. I need to pay attention on how much goes into the kimchi mix. I, and and subtract that from I the... I think so. Okay. That makes sense. So. Oh, my God, everybody. Okay. So I'm going to give this one out because I think it's it's done, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing about homemade bacon that I have noticed. Well, obviously, if you cook it at high temperatures, it's going to burn no matter what. But, uh, Jack, why are you in the kitchen? Um, anyways, I'm going to let those go for just a little bit. So what have you noticed about homemade bacon? Sometimes it burns a little faster, I think, maybe. Oh. But can I have your plate, please? Mm-hmm. I've got hot bacon fingers. Hot bacon. So. I rinse these really, really thoroughly too, so that's another, you know, thing to keep in mind. We don't want a ton of salt on the surface or so. You rinse them and then you let them sit for twenty four hours? Yeah. To get the pellicle. Pellicle. Okay. Bacon done. Well, for now. Now. Turn that off. That is so hot. It's so hot, everybody, but I'm going to try and eat it anyways for your entertainment. Blow on it. Get it for That's what I'm doing. Where'd you get a fork? No, I'm blowing on it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It is like regular bacon, but... Yeah. I like the saltiness of this. Yeah. But I like the flavor of the kimchi. Yeah. I never eat the kimchi when you make it. Maybe you should. I know. I never even tried it. Oh. Pig knows what's up. <laughs> well, basically, these English muffins fry things. Yeah. They don't bake. They fry in ghee, so, or clarified butter. Why couldn't they fry in bacon fat? I mean, they probably could, but I think there's a flavor issue. I don't know if it's an issue. It's just we should try it. So what's going to happen here, and I'll show you what's happening now. As you can see how it's like, actually this is better. You can see how it's kind of still pulling away against the sides and it's, it's kind of a loose. What's happening in here is that the gluten development is going to cause this to start pulling away from the sides and stuff. And so what you have is the, the that gluten formation is good because it's going to allow for, when it rises, the pockets to be formed. And what we want is pockets because when you rip an English pop in half, what do you get? You get crevices, and you get those crevices because of this. So we don't want super big ones, but we want enough that there are the, the cracks and stuff in there. So just keep that in mind as we move forward with this process. So. Oh my God, what are we doing here? Let's see, yeah, so we are flying out tomorrow, uh, uh, not tomorrow, next Saturday morning, we get into Missouri in the afternoon, and then we're there through Sunday morning, which early, early, unfortunately. It's like, we have to be at the airport, I think our flight leaves at 5.45 a.m., just as a heads up. 
Mm. What did we do last night, Amy? It was really fun. We went to a restaurant we've not been to before. and um, With some friends, Chris yeah. and Rio. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. With some, some friends of ours that uh, apparently I've not seen in a year. At least. That's nutty. I would never have guessed that. Um, and then we went to an escape room, which was super fun, and we got out by the hair of our chinny chin Like, chins. I think they were coming to open the door to tell us that we had failed. And, like, we and got we the got light it. and then opened it up. Because it was, like, we put it up there, and, like, the guy, and then all of a sudden we went, and the guy was at the door. That's how close he was. Yeah, I definitely think he was, like, timing us and tell us, like, but we got it. Uh, the peppermint is there, but it's not as much as I would have liked it to be. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think it's perfect. Just a hint. Uh, it was really fun, and it was the first time wow. in a while that we've actually, like, gone out and done a thing yeah. that was not just, like, go out to dinner. Oh, that was fun. I also think, like, I think even this bacon is a little bit salty, too, too that, for some reason. So It is. Yeah, I agree. You know, it'll be fine. You make sure there's some stuff. Don't put any, don't put any salt on your eggs. Uh-oh. Evo uh, connection loss. To here. I'm just struggling today. Yeah. Um. Sorry, everybody. We're just trying to. We're gonna reconnect here. When this comes up, just hit connect. Okay. Oh. It's already in here. Okay. Well. I think it must okay. be fine because. Let's look at this. Danny says he still sees you. Small airport. Branson, yeah? The, yeah, Branson, whatever. Maybe we can go see Yakov Smirnov. Yakov Smirnov's going to be in Branson? He, I think he is always there. Okay, you see the difference here? And if you look at the difference between what we were seeing... We can't see it, so... Oh, sorry. My hand is... I'm not... Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. The difference yeah, it's between, gathering up. Yeah. Which is what you want. That means the gluten is formed really well, and it's when you when it pulls, it pulls away from the walls. So we yeah. have. Oh, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Okay. Just now, though. Yeah, we just finished, so that's good. Okay. We are now moving on to the next part of this. Oh, fresh bacon BLT. Yeah, but the tomatoes will be crappy right now. Oh my god. BLTs are the best, but I think in this case, like anything you do with this bacon that we've made, you don't need to add any salt to it. Mm -mm. Zero. That is the one thing that I would, as like I said, I think it's, I don't know. Next time you make it, I want you to make the lemon pepper. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So this is going to go, we're going to get this, this bad mama job. Oops, give it some grease. Oh, I wondered why you had that. So this, like I said, look at, I don't know, look at the stretch on Oh, wow. That's what you're looking That's for. That's a stretch. It's going to be sticky. Is that going to make the bubbles? Yeah, it'll, it, because it actually will make better bubbles because it will, it will, the gluten they won't, will stretch. They won't pop. Uh, pop. Yeah. So you can see how sticky it is, but. It's going to be fine. You got mad at it earlier. I did. I was really mad. No, I just walked away. <laughs> Made me. I'm when you slam dough on the counter, I'm like, and I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you mad? What happened? I don't know. It just was mixed. The way it was sticking. So this is soft Ooh. and subtle and very, very sticky. sticky. You should have put some ham on the outside of your head. Should have, but, you know, there you go. Everything, everything. So, you know, they have this stuff called Art Guard. 
And it's lotion that you put on your hands and it makes like paint and stuff not stick to your hands and wash off easier. Yeah. They really should make something for bakers. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's spray your hands with Pam, right? Or cover them in oil, but we could market that and make a million. Baker guard. So, <clears throat> oh man, God damn it! I'm all over the place today. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna get. Going. <laughs> As I was saying, you you keep, are hard to track today. You keep up. So you're just gonna cover it, move it to a warm spot. Lord. And in a couple of hours, this is what it's gonna look like. You guys getting motion sickness yet? No, just kidding. <laughs> so I got I got our scale because we need to know what it weighs. Get the backs of your face. Oh, you didn't do it. I didn't. What is that? Yeah, hair. Okay. So I had this outside, which is fine. So I was I was just kind of slow down the front of the the rise a little bit, so I didn't um, get crazy. So being colder is easier to handle. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So we're gonna weigh it first, and then. 788 grams divided by 12. Somebody do it real quick. 788 divided by 12? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be quick, but. 65.6. So we'll cut. We'll get it the best we can. So I'm going to just measure these out. And that's way too much. And I'm only going to do a few, and I'm going to show that way we can move along with this show. People got things to do, right? Uh, anybody taking any long time off for holidays, or get long time off for or holidays? Traveling or traveling anywhere for holidays? Exactly. Okay, <coughs> 65. So what are you going to do? Is you're going to get one of these bad mamma jammas. That's an parchment on it? Nope. Oh. You're going to take some yellow cornmeal. Ah. And you're going to put it on this pan. And you're going to go like, Doug, that's so much. You want it to. Yeah, because English muffins always have that. Nah, just having a baby. Yeah. We know what you're doing, Danny. Yeah. We're just wondering about other people. So we're going to make this into a round, and we're going to get it, you know, four-ish inches, and roughly a round. And it's not going to be a ball. It's not going to be that. And then you're going to place it in here. What's in there? More cornmeal. And then, if you're... Both sides? Yeah. This so it doesn't stick to anything? Yep. And you do that 12 times. You do that 12 times. Okay. And then what? So, we will do, we will do these in a little bit. <laughs> so, you're now going to take this guy, and once you've done that, you're going to let them raise for an hour or two. They're going to get 50% bigger than they were. And what you should end up with is something of irregular shapes that look like that. So this is what we're talking about. Another thing that like people outsource now because they don't exactly they don't want to sit have to around and wait for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got uh, look making English muffins at home is there. I mean, look the one. What's what are they? Saint Thomas, right? Is that the, the no? They're just called Thomas. Oh yeah, uh, they are. I think. They're good. I mean, if you're in a pinch and you don't want to make them all, just go get the good ones. But or go to your local bakery and have them make them. So. But I mean, I'm gonna cook these and clarify butter, everybody. How bad could they be? Yeah, what's going on? I haven't got any. Yeah, when you're hot. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. So I'm gonna let this. Um, 
melt. I'm going to make sure that I don't have any weirdness in here. Weirdness. Checking for weirdness. Don't worry, I said time risk is here too. Time risk. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get this entirely covered. Um, this thing is is lilting this way. Oh. So. Listing. Is that it? Yeah, like a ship listing. Oh sure, there you go. So. I huh. wonder why that is. This pan's probably. Not the pan, your burner. Listen. So you're putting more ghee in there because you are literally frying these yeah, guys. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to have as much as you can in here, um, because when you like this side is good, but I think once we put this in here, then it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. And it, it's, something magical is gonna happen. This is what I gotta tell you is my I think amazing thing about this is that they literally. God, I got so many things going on. This is a gigantic kitchen. What is your deal? What? I need a place to put it so that cool. You're making like 42 things at once. Okay. Okay. That looks great. So I'm going to let this sit for a second. And. You want to prop the burner up a little bit on this foot? I bet they, do they, do the feet unscrew and go up? I mean, now is not a good time to figure that out. Well, but. you know what? Is it missing? Is the foot missing? I think so. Uh, perfect. Huh. Tuck a little something under there. Well, I don't have a something underneath there. So you're going to want to take this, and you got to be a gentle giant here. And I'm going to... Okay. Would this be enough? Maybe. We'll see. I think it's a pan. Look how it sits on there. Well, it's a combination. But you can, so, I, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, but we you can. You can see it raising up, right? So we're just going to, I'm just going to add more ghee until the side is uh, about what we want, which is just to have it in. I'll put some things on top of it. But you got to do this gently, okay? Because you don't want to deflate what you've already got going on. Ah, uh, that's what you said, gentle giant. This is, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And you're looking about five or six minutes on each side. Get your fan. You know what's funny? I never really thought of these as a fry dough. Yeah. Oh, look at how that one's poofing up. Okay. How's he look on the bottom? Oh, yeah. Not enough, though. That? Yeah, that's good. Oh. We'll watch it. This thing is not cooperating. I don't know what to do about it. But as long as we're on the air. So I'm going to leave that on a little bit longer. Just, we'll, you know. But see how, look at the rays you're getting out of this. And that's yeah. what you're looking for. Yeah, this is annoying. I'm going to hold it up and see what happens. You want more? You can fold that thing again. One more time. One more time. Okay, look at that. <gasps> that is what you're looking for, folks. Okay. You want it to have a nice bottom. 
And then you're right. I do want things to have a nice bottom. They're gonna rise up. Ta-da! I can't see myself, so I don't know what's going on. You look great. Cool. And those look delicious. Again, we have cream cheese. We do, but that's not a bagel. I like to put cream cheese and bacon on there. I like to put cream cheese on my English muffins. There's no law against that. Uh, can you get some jelly out? Jelly? Yeah. Not for mine. I don't want you to put it on yours. I know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Everything no. is about Amy. So we're just gonna Do we have our jelly in here? I think there might be. I'm going to turn this one back over. Because that's we want that. We have this Dutch jelly. There's some, if you look behind the cheese. You don't want Dutch jelly? Uh, no. You want some strawberry? Yeah. Ow. Okay. I'm take this off. Oh, man, I almost put that one in the sink, everybody. Gotta mix up the screen. What else do you want? Peanut butter? You can put some peanut butter on there. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna move this flaming hot thing off to the side. It smells buttery and delicious in here. Yeah. So. <gasps> Are you okay? Do you need to put it under the water? No. What part did you touch that was so hot? This part. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. I didn't think about that the way I should have. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. It happens. It happens. So you're going to let this, you got to let these sit for a few minutes at least. So what did we learn today? Don't touch Oops. hot things. Don't touch hot things. That's what you should definitely not do. Second of all. Um, Eggnog with peppermint rum chata is delicious. Good. We are not going to be here for the next two weeks, so, um, but we'll try and do something. And we're not driving, so we can't take all our stuff and do a yeah. remote one. But look at that, like, see how the, see how this part here is puffed up? That's, you know, when you get a, that's what you get, right, from a, oh man, this one is, okay, perfect. Like, I like the way this one looks nice and delightful. This one is a little bit, we're going to have to see so that's what we're going to wait a few minutes to look. But I'm going to, should we have, do you need another drink? I do. Okay. Let's do that real quick. Is it, just, we're just wasting some time? On yeah, because I want to I wanna let these cool just a teeny tiny bit, because I don't, you know. Um, so, I mean, this is, this, it's a lot of prep. You can make, but like really if you use a sourdough um, and some commercial yeast, a couple, like, you can make your vegan if you want to do that. Set it in your fridge overnight. You're gonna get some flavor. If you have a if you have an active sourdough, which I just mixed this up this afternoon. Or, you did? Yeah. Uh, well, this, I thought you had sourdough going. No, that is that's what I'm saying. That is from the leftovers. The disc, the, like I fed, I should say. Okay. So feeding it, and that's like that's how active it is. And we got good lift, and we've got all that. So what is, is how is there a cat hair in there? Because we live in a house with three cats and five dogs, and that's just how it is. Okay, well, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Um, it, like I said, hopefully everybody uh, is good for traveling and they don't get any kind of stranded anywhere. Or yeah, I'm wondering if there's snow in Missouri. Do you know? I don't. Do any? It's like almost directly, remember, directly east from us. It really is. We like looked it up. It's almost direct, like Amy said. Directly. Doug was looking at like we could take a road trip. It's the same road trip I took with my mom a couple of years ago, but it was really fun. And uh, basically go all around the outside of Colorado. <laughs> but we could go into Colorado and see the DeMichelis. We could. That's something we wanted 
Brandy down. No snow, just rain. Yeah, we haven't had anything here. No, and it's, it blew around Which a lot. Which I thought we were going to have like we had last year, but no. I guess not. Nice ounce of that. If you really wanted this to be a little bit more peppery, pepperminty, you could add some extract. Exactly. Or sticky candy cane in there. <clears throat> Ping, but, do you have stout? This pink's in East, East Coast. I East think, Coast, right? That's our understanding of things. Does any place really have snow? Chicago does. I think they were calling for storms, but I don't think anybody's had anything cool yet. Chicago has. Snow. Why do I? Know? Because our dental hygienist has family in Chicago and they have snow. Oh. Trish. How's your new tooth working out? Has it come out yet? Oh, so I think you know. Again, let's let's to recap. You know, bake if you can find pork belly, you should buy it because for I think pound for pound, it's like the cheapest, some of the cheapest beef or meat meat you can buy. Um, and then curing it is nothing. See that frothiness? You get that frothiness from the egg yolk. Just some flurries, but nothing stuck. Yeah, see, I don't know. I think it just hasn't hit yet. I mean, technically. Well, uh, they said this year is an El Nino. But also last year was an El Nina. But the winter solstice is in December, which is technically. I know, but we had snow this time last year. I know. I'm just saying that that's technically the start of the winter season. Yeah, most people don't know that. Oh, well, I know. I think we're in winter right now. We're, yeah, we're in the fall, the autumn. We are in the autumn. You could use the, you could use egg white too. Not really, but. No. It, 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 it has, di that's where all the protein is, so it would be totally different. Well, you can add both. I mean, Just the fat is in the. Yeah, you do add, like, to make a fizz, you use the egg white. This is not a fizz. It is definitely not a fizz. It is decidedly. So my dad used to make eggnog from scratch like you're doing. And I never liked it because it is a much milder flavor than store-bought eggnog, which I always mix half and half with milk. Um because it's so sweet but now that I'm older I do appreciate this lighter version yeah it's good I really like it so I wonder why well I suppose because we're American and Americans love sugar so that's why they add so much sugar to it but this only has half an ounce of some simple syrup I mean no but I'm saying store bought oh, well, that's yeah. why it's so sweet yeah of course and I suppose they also think you're going to cut it with booze right oh I mean, yeah, you're going to cut it with boots. Let's not be. Did I get everything? I don't know. Woody so, just wait, ate uh, some random thing off the floor. I don't even know what it was. I don't. I, it, it, at this point, it's hard to say. I'm not <laughs> sure his brain is all formed, but that's just me. <laughs> I can't say much for our dogs either, so. None of them. Oh, something that scared him. It was oh, it was. oh, it's because that thing moved when he was sniffing the box. Oh. The box would hold on. Honey, you're going over an hour. It's fine. These people deserve it. We're not going to be here for the next two weeks. I want and that's, I mean, that's, that's not here. They all left. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, can, I can also see the this. <laughs> Sorry for the mix up in the beginning, so. Okay, so the first English muffin, we're just going to have a little taste of plain, right? Yeah, of course. We're going to split it. I'll take one half, you take one half. And... 
That was a good pour. That looked good. Don't forget your nutmeg. Get into the, the end of it. <gasps> this is the end. I have plenty more. Hey, what, what are you doing that? in the kitchen? Oh, sorry. Okay. Cheers. This is the proper instrument to cut one of these open. Yes. So. Mm. Why are you making a face? I'm not sure how. You I don't know. like the way it feels? I don't think it's so. Not done? Mm. Might not be. But it's too late now. Oh no. That's beautiful. Now again, oh, yeah. You're Look want, at that steam. You're gonna, this, you do have to wait a little bit longer, technically. Okay, yeah, but we're not going to. So here's a plane. Well, let's just have a half of that guy, and then the other guy can cool some more while we do it. Well, it, we've had it open, so at this point, it doesn't matter. It matters, Doug. Oh, it's not hot, though. Oh. Yeah, that's good. There's not a lot of sour to it. Mm -mm. It's good though. The flavor is really, I think, complex. What do you think? I like it. Okay. I would like it with just butter. Well, that's what we didn't put on is butter. Excuse me. What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Why didn't you scrape it with the because butter I, spreader? Because I didn't, and then now here we are, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. We actually have a tool for that. Uh -huh. And You forgot we had it. I don't, didn't grab it. I thought it might be, the butter might be softer, but I forget that it's not the summer where the butter is. Oh, yeah. Well, anyways, try it. Well, cut it in half. Um, yeah, what do you got the heat on in the house, Doug? Miser. 67. Oh, yeah. Um, you put the unsalted butter on there. I can't wait here, folks. Oh, please. I don't even see the butter, butter spreader. Oh, there it is. Liar. I guess we'll just have to open another one. <laughs> so you definitely, you know, you want to, you know, you don't use a knife. And the reason why, why do you not use a knife, Amy? Because you crush all the little pockets. Exactly. I usually don't even use a fork. I just pull apart with my hands. <clears throat> yeah. yeah Delish. These are good. They are good. You did great. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, butter and marmalade. That sounds good. That also sounds good. You want a little cream cheese on here? Yes. Just cream cheese? I just like the sourness of the cream cheese. Okay. Also, you know what we're not doing with these? What? We're not toasting. But they're warm, so yeah. that's why we're getting away. But I'm just saying, you know, you would, in a lot of cases, you would, you, would, you know, you'd toast them up so that the cracks are a little bit. Mm. Oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna do, do, do the last one with a little butter and a little jam, and then we're out. Is that the non-salted butter? Yeah, it's fine now because I'm using jam. That's the that's the major flavor here. So, oh, what failure? I think it's because it's not toasted. I think it's because you put too much on the spreader.
that. Everybody. Fair weirdo. Whatever. I think it does. I think it, I, these should be toasted. Everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. Mine's good. Yeah, well. Latina. <laughs> yep. Latina. Okay. I do love them with the peanut butter on them, too. They're really good that way. Okay, mix it up. Let's have it. Let's have it. This, this jam is separated a little bit. It's not like Space Jam, which is forever. So. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks for stopping by. Again, we won't be here next week or the week after. But um, we will do something because, as you know, for Christmas we do. Uh, Amy makes all the or- makes a bunch of orders and stuff, so we'll pick a few of those that we haven't done on the show before, recipe wise, and we can do a few since Christmas is on Monday, and we'll do it the the w- Saturday before. Okay. Mm. Um, we love you. Thank you so much for being here uh, and going along with us. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. And uh, remember to be kind, to be loyal. Do something nice for somebody next week. People appreciate it. We love you so much. And we will see you in two weeks.